Today we're diving into a paper that explores a potential improvement to the transformer architecture, a key component of many modern machine learning models. The paper, Theory, Analysis, and Best Practices for Sigmoid Self-Attention, proposes replacing the traditional softmax attention mechanism with a sigmoid function. What are the main motivations behind this change? The paper argues that the softmax function, while effective, has some limitations. One issue is that it can lead to a concentration of attention on just a few features, potentially neglecting other important information in the input data. Additionally, the softmax operation requires a row-wise reduction, which can slow down computations, especially in efficient attention kernels. The authors propose using a sigmoid function instead, which is applied element-wise and avoids the row-wise reduction, potentially leading to faster and more memory-efficient implementations. So the, the sigmoid function offers potential benefits in terms of computational efficiency and information distribution. But how does this change affect the theoretical properties of the transformer architecture? The paper provides theoretical guarantees that transformers with sigmoid attention retain the universal approximation property, UAP. This means that they can still approximate any continuous sequence-to-sequence -sequence function to arbitrary precision. Furthermore, the authors analyze the regularity of sigmoid attention and show that it has a lower Lipschitz constant compared to softmax attention. This suggests that transformers with sigmoid attention might be more robust and easier to optimize. That's interesting. So the theoretical analysis suggests that sigmoid attention could be a viable alternative to softmax attention. But what about the practical implications? How does sigmoid attention perform in real-world applications? The paper presents extensive empirical results across various domains, including language modeling, image classification, and speech recognition. They find that properly normalized sigmoid attention can match the performance of soft max attention on a wide range of tasks and scales. However, they also identify some challenges in training models with sigmoid attention, particularly the issue of large initial attention norms. Large initial attention norms can lead to instability during training. How do the authors address this issue? The authors propose two main solutions to mitigate the problem of large initial attention norms. First, they suggest using relative positional embeddings like a alibi, which shifts the initial attention logit mass towards the zero regime under the sigmoid activation. Second, they propose setting the attention logit bias term to a negative offset proportional to the sequence length. This approach allows for the use of other positional embedding techniques like rope. So by addressing the issue of large initial attention norms, the authors are able to achieve stable training with sigmoid attention. Are there any other key factors that contribute to the success of sigmoid attention? Yes, the paper highlights the importance of layer scale, a technique that scales the output of each attention layer by a learnable scalar, Layer scale helps to stabilize training and improve performance, particularly in vision tasks. The authors also find that applying layer norm to the query in key tensors, QK norm, can further enhance stability. It seems that the successful implementation of sigmoid attention requires careful consideration of several factors, including positional embeddings, bias terms, and normalization techniques. Can you elaborate on the specific challenges and solutions for different domains? Yes, the paper finds that different domains have different sensitivities to these factors. For example, in language modeling, the authors observe that sigmoid attention is more sensitive to the initial attention norm and requires careful initialization of the bias term. They find that using a alibi or setting the bias term to dace log in helps to stabilize training. In vision tasks, on the other hand, sigmoid attention is more robust and can often achieve good performance without the need for QK norm or even layer scale. So the choice of hyperparameters and techniques can significantly impact the performance of sigmoid attention. What about the computational efficiency of sigmoid attention? Does it offer any advantages in this regard? Yes. The paper introduces Flash Sigmoid, a hardware-aware implementation of sigmoid attention that leverages the simpler structure of the sigmoid function to achieve faster and more memory-efficient computations. 
They benchmark Flash Sigmoid against Flash Attention 2, a highly optimized implementation of Softmax Attention, and find that Flash Sigmoid kernels provide a significant speed up in inference and a modest speed up in training. That's impressive. So Flash Sigmoid offers a potential performance boost for both training and inference. Can you elaborate on the specific speedups observed in their experiments? The authors report a 17% speedup in inference kernel time and a 6.5% speedup in training kernel time for Flash Sigmoid compared to Flash Attention 2 on H100 GPUs. They also demonstrate that these kernel speedups translate to real-world performance gains with an 8% speedup in inference and a 4% speedup in training for a vision transformer model trained on the ImageNet dataset. These are significant performance improvements. However, the paper also mentions some limitations of sigmoid attention. Can you highlight those? Yes. The authors acknowledge that sigmoid attention still has some limitations. For example, in large-scale language modeling, they observe some gradient norm spikes and a slight performance gap compared to softmax attention. They also note that the theoretical bounds they derive for sigmoid attention might not be maximally tight and could be further refined. Finally, they emphasize that the performance of sigmoid attention on niche or emerging applications remains to be validated. So, while sigmoid attention shows promise as a viable alternative to softmax attention, further research is needed to address these limitations and fully explore its potential. Can you summarize uh, the key contributions of this paper? The paper provides a comprehensive theoretical and empirical study of sigmoid attention as an alternative to softmax attention in transformers. They prove that transformers with sigmoid attention are universal function approximators with improved regularity. They also identify layer scale and the prevention of large initial attention norms as key factors for successful training. Furthermore, they introduce Flash Sigmoid, a memory efficient implementation that provides a significant inference kernel speed up. Their extensive experiments across language, vision, and speech domains demonstrate that properly normalized sigmoid attention can match the performance of softmax attention on various tasks and scales. This paper provides a valuable contribution to the field of transformer architecture design. It offers a new perspective on attention mechanisms and highlights the potential benefits of using sigmoid functions. However, as you mentioned, further research is needed to address the remaining limitations and fully explore the potential of sigmoid attention. What are some of the key directions for future work? The authors suggest several directions for future work. One important area is to further investigate the performance of sigmoid attention on large-scale language models and explore techniques to improve training stability. Another direction is to refine the theoretical bounds for sigmoid attention and derive tighter estimates for its regularity. Finally, it would be valuable to evaluate sigmoid attention on a wider range of applications and explore its potential for niche or emerging domains. This is a fascinating area of research with significant potential for improving the efficiency and performance of transformer models. Thank you for sharing your insights on this paper. You're welcome. It's an exciting time for research in transformer architectures, and I believe that sigmoid attention has the potential to play a significant role in the future of machine learning. I agree. It's great to see researchers exploring new approaches and pushing the boundaries of what's possible with these powerful models. Thank you for joining us today.